Hey everybody, it's me, Josh, with Hope, and I'm bringing you the follow-up session for Sushant Singh Rajput, the Indian actor. Now, I was asked hundreds of times to reach out to him when he passed, and I did. And uh, the connection was a little off at first, but it was amazing. Now, it's very important that I say that I've been doing this eight years. I do a number of different things with afterlife research, spirit communication, I'm a practicing medium, and everything I do is 100% real. That is my vow to anyone that watches my work, and it's always been and it will continue to be. Now, I used for Sushant and a number of other celebrities, I'm gonna tell you what I do. It's very simple. I take a small amount, a clip, audio clip of an interview of theirs, I chop it up, I reverse it all, and then I put another couple of different effects, making it complete gibberish. So when I pipe it through that box with reverb, it's up to the spirit to manipulate that raw sound and create their own response. So there isn't English or Hindi or any other words swimming around in there um, or any language. It is complete gibberish. So that's important that I let you know that. And I have done this live a number of different times. I will do it again, I'm sure. Uh, for people, I reach out to their loved ones and a number of different awesome things. But when I first did Sashant, when I first connected with him um, and I posted the video, I got a wave of love of people that were really grateful. Of course, I got people that were trying to debunk it, that were skeptics, and I understand the skeptics. And the ones that sling hate and vile stuff, we don't accept that, I won't tolerate that. But, you know, I try to make myself as transparent as possible in what I'm doing. And uh, ultimately, I just want to help. That's all I want to do. Helpers of paranormal entities. I'm going to show you the session now. Even though I asked questions that were suggested, I asked. I really didn't want to ask them. I didn't like them. But I did anyway because I really wanted to try and bring some kind of closure to his fans. Maybe some kind of justice. Who knows? So please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you can. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I'm doing private and group sessions over on Patreon, so please check me out there. I'm on TikTok. There's a number of different things that I'm putting out for people to see different content and to be involved if you want to be involved in what I'm doing. So I love you all. Thank you. Here is the session with Sashant. <laughs> So, Sushant, are you here with me? Okay. Now, in the video, the last time, the last session we did, I believe I hear you saying, and I didn't put the name in there because I wasn't sure, but I believe you said calling out Rhea could hear me, you know, that your girlfriend could hear you calling out. Okay. Anything that you can tell your fans, they really want to know about your death. Anything that you're comfortable with saying. Did your girlfriend, Rhea, have anything to do with this? Okay. You also said that you were looking for your strangler. Okay, that's what I believe you said. Your fans are really upset and they want to know more about your death. Um, they don't believe that you committed suicide. Is there anything that you can tell us about your death? Did you commit suicide or were you murdered? Okay. They want to know, do you know who killed you? So this person, this subscriber asked, you know, first of all, uh, did 
he's asking, you know, they seem to think you can answer a lot of yes or no questions. So I'm going to try to ask a yes or no question here. Did an actor or a director kill you? It's all good. If you're using this, great. If not, then no big deal on me wasting my time. I just needed to follow through with this intuitive feeling I had to try and at least ask for you one last time. The invitation's open if you ever want to speak. I've said that before. Um, and you thanked me. You know, you started it. It's kind of our session started out last time a little weird, but it ended very nicely. And you said some nice things to me, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, you said stand up to tyranny. I think that uh, that's what you were doing. You were trying to fight back and you did not want to go along with what was going on in Bollywood and you wanted some kind of change and you were resistant to that. Did that resistance that you had, that you were trying to stand up to, have anything to do with your death? They're asking me if you can give the first letter of the person that killed you. I mean, some of these questions, I don't know if they're very helpful, but I'm trying to, you know, bring some peace to your fans. They're really upset. You said you, you would miss them and that you'll be back down here again. If there's anything that you want to say to your followers, to your fans, they miss you, of course. If there's anything that you want to say to them, what would that be? You miss you, miss you. Um, you know, you said some other interesting things that they think this spirit work is, is bullshit. And I agree with you. A lot of people think this is fake. That's what I took that comment as. And, you know, it's not. It's a, it's 100% real. Everything that we're doing here. And uh, maybe one day more people will believe that. Is there anything you have to say about that, about this work, about this uh, communication? Okay. I asked you, okay, so they're also asking about your manager, your ex-manager, Disha Selene. I think I'm saying her name right, hopefully, who also committed suicide a week before your death. Was Disha's death similar or because or had anything to do with yours? you can use some of this really well. I'm not hearing you in real time. That's fine. Um, one of the questions here is saying that you changed your phone SIM card 50 times, or that's what the rumor was. Um, you know, uh, were you being blackmailed? You know, there was something going on regarding um, possible, you know, sexual misconduct um, claims and, you know, but I think it's pretty clear based on my session, Steve's session, that there was foul play regarding your death. I, I really feel like that's true. Um, what do you want your fans to do? you one last time what is a message to your fans regarding this do you want them to let go of it or do you want them to keep fighting for your justice okay all right I'm gonna ask you um, one other just final question, and I, that will be the last time that I ask for you unless, again, you come to me or you ask someone to come to me. I think you have a great connection with Steve, 
So, I mean, I, you know, if that's how you feel, then I definitely don't want to impede on that. Um, it really doesn't matter who you come to. I don't feel like it matters. If it could help you in some way, bring you peace, help bring the other person that was involved to justice in some way, which I don't know how that would be the case, but maybe it could. All right. So I'm just going to ask one last time, is there anything else that you want to say regarding your death or to your fans? Um, anything important at all? Anything important at all to your fans? Anything at all that you would like to say to them regarding your death or anything else? 